Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be, or I'm going to be demonstrating a couple of basic things about Flash. I'm using Adobe Flash CS4. Professional, if you want to add that title on. Um, we're going to open Flash and create a new Flash file. If you're using CS4, it's Action Script 3.0. Alright, when you open it up, you'll see this white rectangle and this gray area. This is your stage, which is basically what you're going to be working on. It's basically the paper of uh, your project. Um, I'm only doing basic things and or basic things in uh, this lesson so I apologize if I kinda like pause and stutter and stuff I'm not really used to this uh, well we are going to let's see we are going to first create a tool or a uh, shape so we're going to select a shape square a square. You can make it whatever color you want. I have it orange because I like orange. So now you have your shape. And if you have something like an outline, it will have a outline if this area has a color in it. But if not, then you would just have the shape. But it doesn't matter if you... Uh, Alright, the next step is you select the whole shape which you drag over it, drag the square over the shape and it'll have these little gray dots indicating that you've selected the area. Another way to do it is to double click on the shape. You're going to drag it to the top left corner of your stage and you're going to convert to symbol by right clicking on it and going to the bottom where it says convert to symbol uh, a shortcut of doing this is FN F8 but for the sake of teaching a lesson I will do it the longer way um, you can name it whatever you want I'm going to name mine box type is a graphic press OK and now your box looks like this circle with a blue outline which indicates that it is a symbol and not just a strange random object. Now the next step is you go down to your timeline. Right now you only have one layer which happens to be the layer your box is on. You're going to want to select the tenth frame and you're going to want to insert frame. Now, previously there was just one gray frame where the cursor was on, the first frame. The only frame that's gray. But by inserting a frame, we have expanded the gray time frame which means if you press enter which plays out the timeline the square is still there at the tenth frame yay okay now we are going to have our box move from this corner to this corner we are going to right click on our layer, create motion tween, which turns this little gray box into a light blue box. This red cursor, wherever you clicked it, will be where it is. Select the tenth frame, it'll move to that frame. 
This only turns dark blue because you've selected it. You've clicked on it. So at the 10th frame, drag your box over to the right corner. You'll see this green line right here, which indicates that each frame the box moves to each dot. And by the 10th frame, it ends up here. Now press enter or return, whichever machine you're using, and voila! The box moves from one corner to the other. Now you're wondering why it's moving so quick, or maybe not quick enough. Well, it's because I've only selected 10 frames to have the box move in. Say that I wanted to have it move a little slower. I will select the 25th frame and insert my frame there. And by the 25th frame, I will move my box over. And you notice that there's more dots on the screen line, which means there are more frames in which the box moves in which means when I press enter it moves slower. So the less amount of frames that you have for your motion tween, the more or the faster it moves. The more frames, the slower it moves. Very simple stuff. Now I am going to talk about keyframes. So far we have made this box into a symbol, made it a graphic type of symbol, which allows it to move across the stage. We have inserted frames, inserted motion tweens, but now we're going to talk about keyframes. Now a keyframe is a point in the timeline in which one of the frames has this little diamond. This indicates a keyframe in the time frame, which is a certain point in the time frame where you are, I guess in my case, ended a motion. So, we are going to select uh, layer 50. We are going to insert a frame. Now, the last time we did this, there was no keyframe. The second time I do this, there is a keyframe. This is the last action you made with your graphic. You selected it from this corner to this corner. When you stopped it at this corner and extended the uh, frame to frame 50, it leaves a little diamond, which is a keyframe. So, we're going to move that cursor to frame 50. We're going to drag that box downward. It inserts a keyframe. When you press enter, it moves along the green line. Now, if you, you can eventually make the box go completely around the stage. Very simple. If you can do that, then you're good.